well, Georgia Bassmasters here, headed down to the lake. All my partners today kind of bailed on me. I should say, the main one that was gonna go bailed because he wasn't feeling good. He got coronavirus or something like that. Hopefully not. Then the other one, I called somebody else. They couldn't go. Called my dad. He wouldn't answer. So I'm basically just gonna solo it today. And if you're watching this video and you're wondering why you didn't get a call, well, it's so early, you're either in school or at work. So that's why I didn't give you a call. And I'm gonna be using a, a, a split tail trailer that I got off out of one of my mystery tackle boxes and putting it on this new bait. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever used a split tail trailer on your chatterbaits, but it is fire. It worked great. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we're gonna, I'll see you guys down here at the lake. I'm pretty sure the weather just hit 70 degrees, 72 degrees. And bass are gonna be pushed up in some shallow water. And I'm really hoping there's gonna be a Mondo caught today. I'll see you guys out at the lake. Um, so, while on my way to the fishing spot, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using. And I guess I'm just going to have to rip these out of the pack. There's no other good way of doing this. I'm basically just taking these white split tail trailers that I got out of my Catchco mystery tackle box this month I'm just gonna rig that on the back just like that there's the finished product I'm ready to use this thing Alright, so sometimes when the bite is super tough like this, I'll take some of this red dye, dip the tail end of my bait in it. Be careful not to get this stuff on your clothes, because it is nasty. But sometimes that, just that little bit of red will really spark the fish into biting. It'll look like an injured bait fish. So let's see what that does to these bass. Back up to 52. Maybe they'll start hitting here soon. Got a fish. Oh, guys, I literally just put that red on here. And in two casts, I got a fish. So sometimes that makes a difference. Don't you shake. Oh. Let's let this little baby go. First bass of the day. All right. He's good. He's good. He's good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Woo. That was not easy. Getting that in there by myself. Whoo, you guys see that on the underspin? First, pretty dang good one of the day. 
He hit right beside some brush. I mean, come up and slammed it. It's a good fish right there. Every bit about four pounds. Fat, solid, chunky. Let's get him back in the water. All right. Gonna get a release on this girl right here. There she goes. That was a hit. That was a hit. Oh my goodness at the bull. That was a big old bass. Oh my goodness. That was a big old bass. fish that was a dang good one all right guys well i spotted a lure over here so i'm about to go get it somebody lost him a chatter bait That makes today worth it. New chatterbait lure. Let's go ahead and push off like this. Here's what you do. I don't know why people can't get their lures. Time. That thing is white. That thing is white. Got another one. Put it back in. All right. See if I can do that at least one more time. Got another one. He's good. He started biting in the creek. Yeah, got up in the creek, they started hitting. Four.
Golly bum. I was not expecting that hit. That's a nice one too. <sighs> Another chunk for the day, guys. Ah, totally caught me off guard. So yeah, it's almost dark. This thing right here slammed it right at the boat. Pretty nice fish, guys. Another nice bass. Look at this thing. Well, that's fish number five. I don't know if I'm gonna catch another one or not, but they started hitting like crazy here before dark. Let me go ahead and get a release on this bad girl. All right, girl, you ready to go back? There you go. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for sticking to the end. Like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, leave this video a like, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. We've got some good videos coming. See ya.